Falcon. And welcome to the news. You see, the BBC has paid me my own... paid for my own news channel. Yes, sticky news. Soon I knew I would own it. Anyway, so I'm going to give you very special reports every Sunday. And what these reports are going to be are interviewing special people, influential people in the world of show business and politics. Yes, I once wanted to be a politician preaching to apes, and how they came, no one listened. Well folks, here is an interview I did with our Prime Minister, Mr. Tony Blair, last Sunday. Here it is. Alan, show him. First of all, Mr. Prime Minister, I'm glad you're here. We know we had some difficulty getting you from Egypt. How was your holiday there? We will never know, because there are more important things. Anyway, your wife looks strange, but that isn't important. Anyway, first of all, Mr. Prime Minister, it appears that some MPs have leaked details of your battle plans to the media and indicates that it could result in the death of 23 billion innocent people. What? Do you have to say uh, on these well, on this leaked information? That if they cooperate and give any information at all, they will be executed. <clears throat> yes. So can you confirm, or confirm really, what the aim of the war on Iraq is? It's killed hundreds, thousands of Iraqis. Yes, and apparently, with your, well, not your country, my country, England, <coughs> do you believe that the USA and UK will win this war? No, we need to study very carefully the, the stuff that's coming in, and the two basic issues are going to be affordability, and have you got a good fighting chance of winning? Uh, because you're going to have to spend a lot of money and time in, in mounting the bid. Now, you know, you can't guarantee, obviously, of course, that you're going to win, but are you going to be a, you know, a potential winner? Um... <coughs> so if you cannot be sure on this, then doesn't it bother you that billions of, billions of men, women and children, will be slaughtered for nothing? <laughs> no, I don't think that, no. Again, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you. Oh, yes, well, welcome back. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview. We don't have much... Well, oh. this just in. Ah, apparently in Iraq, several little Iraqi innocent children have been saved from torture and humiliation by a woman known only to be wearing red boots. <clears throat> Where she wears these bouts, I mean boots, is because, well, magnificent fella. Well, anyway, more on this next week, on a special show, who is the woman responsible for all the war? One never knows, but will she save the world from her attempts? Anyway, folks, I'm now called away to go to Borneo for more nature programs. Possibly on some rare form of nature. Goodbye, folks, and thanks for listening.